Well, hello everybody, it's Jem here. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate it. This video, this vlog, these upcoming sets of content that I'm about to upload is actually a miracle in itself. And let me explain why. The year 2020 has been absolutely terrible for every single person that I know, and especially for my friends and colleagues in the music industry, it's been horrific. So many people's tours have been cancelled, so many concerts have been cancelled, so many events and studio sessions and people's businesses have been shut down and it's, it's absolutely horrible. And with the whole global pandemic with coronavirus and stuff like that, I know that traveling has been banned in a lot of places. I know for us in Australia, international travel is banned unless you have like some sort of permit or like a specific reason to go overseas. And over the past few months when coronavirus came to Australia, we actually have shut down a whole bunch of borders. So airports have been closed and domestic flying has been closed. So in December 2020, this is an absolute miracle that I get to fly and play music at the same time. So for a flight to be offered to me to be able to do some music and travel, it's an absolute miracle. And I am so, so grateful to God and for the people who vouched for me to come on this trip. So I'm heading up north to Brisbane, Queensland to meet up with my buddy and one of my all-time musical heroes, Luke Munns. Now if you don't know who Luke Munns is, Luke is an amazing music producer, worship leader, and he was the original drummer of Hillsong United. If you guys know the songs like One Way, King of Majesty, Salvation is Here Free, he was that original drummer from all those classic Hillsong albums that we know and we love and I have so much respect for him and his family, you know, I'm really excited to meet up with, you know, his wife Christina and his two little daughters. So they've treated me like I'm part of their family and I'm so grateful for the Munzies. So what I'm going to be doing up in Brisbane is I'm going to be music directing a few Christmas services this upcoming weekend. I'm really keen to meet up with the fellas at Shiloh Church and meet everybody, meet the team and you know, just have a great time. So let me show you guys what I'm going to be taking with me gear wise on this flight. So I'm going to be playing guitar and I'm music directing and I'm going to be taking these two guitars with me. It's Christmas services, so I've got to bring out the Christmas vibes with the white guitars. So I've got my Tolvanen guitars, Disciple T, and my Duesenberg Star Play TV. I've never flown with these guitars before, so I'm super excited to fly with them. These guitars are going to go in this mono dual M80 case, where you can fit two guitars in this one case. I flew with it overseas last year, and it worked like a charm. I'm also taking my Linesix Helix, that's going to go into my Helix backpack. I've also got my laptop, so my 2012, mid-2012 uh, MacBook Pro, spec that with a 1TB SSD and 16GB of RAM, so it's going to be awesome. I'm going to take my hard drives, my cameras, uh, MIDI controller audio interface to you know spice up the creativity when I'm in a hotel room so I can make more content and continue working on stuff like Helix presets. Uh, yeah, a whole bunch of other stuff, headphones, uh, yeah, all this stuff. So. My flight's tomorrow, so I'll see you guys then. So um, I am here at Merrickville before my flight with the one and only Jason Dennison. Merrickville Pork Roll, it's a spot. Yep. Merrickville Pork Roll. I've never been here before, so I'm pretty hungry and keen for this. So here's some pre-flight food. Oh, here it is. Merrickville Pork Roll crackling. Very nice. Very nice. All right, off to the airport we go. Look at that. Wow, that <laughs> never end. Jason Dennison, the man. Yo, here is Sydney Domestic Airport. It's empty. It's like a ghost town. So empty. Here's my stuff. Got my boarding stuff. And uh, yeah, should be good to go. Security checks are done. Um, airport is really empty. This is weird. I've never seen an empty airport. Look at 
at that. Barely anyone here, so um, time to wait for the plan, I guess. Ooh, look at that Krispy Kreme. <laughs> yeah. I am very excited to fly. Like, very excited. This is actually a God-given miracle that I'm able to fly interstate in Australia while we had this virus going on and everything was like closed this whole year. Pretty amazing. Time to board the plane. Let's go! Good. Oh yeah, look who has arrived. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello ma'am sir. Hello po ma'am sir. Welcome to the Philippines. Hey, hello, we are in Manila, Philippines. Manila. Here we are. Very, very hot. Very hot. Yes, it's very hot. Look at that Shiloh Church band. That's legit. I am here. I have arrived to Brisbane you. with the man, the myth, the legend. My dear friend and one of my music heroes, Luke Munns. We are about to go to Charlotte Church Goodness straight to rehearsal. I know. We'll check into the hotel later. The flight delayed. The flight Brother. delayed very long. They I don't said know what language they, I am. They, they said uh, five ten minutes, but it actually one hour delay. Oh, it feels weird because I don't. I don't think I've ever picked up someone from the airport before. No, because you're always getting picked up yeah. at the airport. <laughs> it's me. I'm always picking people up with the airport, especially if you own a van. Yeah. When you own a van, bro, and you're Filipino. <laughs> Bro, they are gonna ask you to pick people up. All right, here we are, the Brisbane. All right, not bad, not bad. I haven't been to Brisbane in about like eight or ten years. Really, I think I hadn't yeah. come here until then, like before I got here. And then I had the quarantines, but you don't Four have to. Fourteen days. You just, they don't have to do the fourteen. Oh, uh, I'm very, I'm very, very blessed to not 14 have the quarantine. Fourteen days frequency. Very frequency, yeah, fourteen. Uh, what is that? Fourteen thousand hertz frequency. <laughs> Are you, are you hungry? How hungry are you? Oh, uh, like 50%. Yeah. We'll feed you for feed you on the way. I just so we have gotten some food at Subway. Subway, oh, push. Is it open? It's yep. open. Okay, thank God. You get whatever you want. You get Jolly Bee. Oh, don't don't tease me like that. that <laughs> don't tease. We Australia, we don't have very good food. <laughs> so I am here at the lovely Shiloh Church here in Goodna, and. Really excited is what I'm using. My trusty two guitars, my Helix, my preset set up for each song, and uh, different snapshots for different sections of the song. So here's my Go to the World, let's tap that. There's my intro, my verse, my chorus, a solo. Yeah, all set that way. There's Luke tuning his drums. There's my MD mic. And uh, yeah, so all our instruments have been set on the stage. Look, can you tell us what is happening now, Pop Ma'am, hey, sir? Oh, ma'am, we are here in the Philippines. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we have everyone uh, mono, everyone on same send in here. Yep, same send. I only know what the, the red buttons do, they are on and off. That's all I know. I still in training, I watched the YouTube video, the YouTube video, and uh. All I know is how to press on off. Yes. All the rest of them, they're just like a disco, like yes. flashing. So that's a bit of a challenge with this musical situation. Yes. Uh, so we have no keys player. No, he's 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 not not well. Let's just say. We have no drummer as well. The drummer is gone. <laughs> so we are just guitar, acoustic, yep. bass player, and uh, two acoustics actually. 
and vocals. So we're pretty much we're pretty much uh, mainly running we're, we're mainly running tracks for yes. for everything to help enhance. So, what are the challenges that you face when it comes to uh, running tracks when you worship lead, and how do you kind of like fill in the gaps? Uh, I think like because we don't have drums, it's, it, we've been really setting the volume right for the drums because it has to fill the room. If I didn't do that, we would have had really quiet drums and we wouldn't have had any any like vibe in the room. So. Mm -hmm. um, Anyway, man, I think you got you're jumping up. Yep, that's your call, man. That's my my call. All right, yeah, cool. It's past midnight. Yeah, past midnight. We are at this hotel. Back fancy. at the styles. Yeah, like look at this. It. Look at this crazy ass. It's the Trump um, Tower. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a hotel room. We're gonna set up shop and go to sleep and do all that. And this guy's gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna sleep. Yeah. Look at my eyes. Look at that. Uh, Luckily, we have a day off tomorrow. Alright, yeah.